Hello everyone and welcome back to the Roblox video and today is another tutorial video where basically I'm going to show you guys how to properly create and manage a Roblox group on the Roblox website. Let's get right into it. Before we get started, what are Roblox groups? Roblox groups are virtual hubs where you can gather players into your own little friend group or a large public community. Think of them as Discord servers on Discord or Gilded servers on Gilded. Roblox groups don't just serve that purpose though. You can have selected friends work on your game projects as a group when your game is linked to your Roblox group. You can store your shirt and pants creations as well as you just see items if you are verified into the program. You can create announcements, link your socials, and explore various customization features in between. So let's get started on the basics of creating your first group. Now you can create Roblox groups on PC and mobile. I'm not sure for Xbox and PlayStation users, so if it's possible for enough for those devices, let me know in the comments below. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating this on PC. However, all of these steps should be familiar to you if you are on mobile. Note that we might encounter Roblox Studio exclusive features along the way in this video in which you will need a PC for that. Just a disclaimer. So first step, what you want to do is you want to head over to your Roblox menu. It doesn't matter which browser you use. I'm on Opera GX for example. And on the left, you can see all these options right here. You want to go to Groups. And it might not show this page right here unless you're in a Roblox group or if you're in none of them at all, you should see an option where you can just create a group and that's what you want to click on. Now this will cost you only a hundred Robux to create a group which isn't too bad, I mean. Just AFK yourself and please donate or have a friend of yours donate you Robux with via game passes or clothing or whatever. So you can see here on the top you can name your group. Now Roblox group names are working as like profile usernames. So for example if I name my Roblox group People's Community, well there's already a Roblox group called People's Community as we've seen just before. So I will not be able to name that. There's also a 50 character limit but uh, you can name it whatever it is that's available for you. The description is basically you can describe what your group is about. This is optional. Emblem is basically you can put your icon for your Roblox group as long as it abides to terms of service and you know it doesn't get moderated. Then you have a quick setting here if you want anyone to join it or you want it manual approval and what this means is that anyone who tries joining your Roblox group will have to send in a request and whoever has authority like a admin or the Roblox group owner only will be able to see who is trying to get in and you can just simply manual okay so we got Person A trying to join, let's accept those. Person B, I don't like them, we can just reject that. So once you've done those settings, you can simply create a group for 100 Robux. Now you might be wondering, why am I on my alt account in this tutorial? Well, that is because the owner of this group is an alt account, and that's what I'm on. Now the main reason why this is the case is because if let's say your main account is the owner of a Roblox group that is valuable to you or you just don't want to lose it and if let's say your account gets banned or deleted that way you have no access to your entire group at all regardless of your owner or not unless you have an alt account that's like the holder is what it's called so here's the group that I already made uh, my alt is the holder which is the owner but I'm really a true owner because well I'm the owner of my alt account and my main so here is the name, this is who the owner is, here is the icon, the total amount of members, and whichever rank you are in when you're viewing this group. If you're not in this group, for example, it will show no rank. Here are the three main tabs, you got the about page, the store, and the affiliates. Let's start with one by one. So we got the about page, here's the group description about what it briefly is. You can also view any linked social medias for this Roblox group right here on the right. If you want to see more of the group description, you just click read more. Here are any previous group names a Roblox group may have in their history. Shouts are basically, you know, little announcements that whoever has authority in your Roblox group, like a mod, admin, or whatever, can put whatever here. So let's say I'm just going to put hello as a group chat, <laughs> group shout. And uh, yeah, there's still information here. I don't know why it says 7.44 a.m. That is not my time right now. But yeah, anyways, if you want to remove it, just simply do group shout or put another one like hi, for example. If you want to clean this entire thing, just press group shout. Here are the linked Roblox games that are in this Roblox group. So anyone who has authority of to managing these Roblox games that are linked in this Roblox group will have the option to manage these however they like. There's probably more in-depth specific settings for this particular thing, so explore that as you will. Down here displays anyone who is in the Roblox group, which is the members, and you can view from multiple pages. You can also view various roles. So I got a role for my alts, 
my friends, moderators, and then there's a co-owner, owner, and there's a group holder. You can also view the social media links again right here with a little description. And here's the group wall where various members, whoever has permission to view the group wall or even post something, can say something right here. And if you have any permissions, you can either uh, delete them or exile the user, which means you can ban them. Or you can simply report the abuse. Anyone has permissions to use report abuse. The next tab we have over here is store, and we click on that. So if you or a specific group of people within this Roblox group has permissions to create and publish certain catalog items, like shirts, t-shirts, or any UGC items that you're in a program of, it will be displayed right here. Nothing too great is going on here. I mean, you want to donate or you want to check out a couple of clothings here and there, that's fine. You can see over here, groups have the ability to create and sell official shirts, pants, and t-shirts. All random view goes to group funds, which will go into that later. And if you want to start creating uh, clothings or accessories for your Roblox group, you can just click on that link right there. And the last tab over here is pretty redundant. It's affiliates. Um, if you want to make collaborations with specific Roblox groups, like, like form a coalition or something, uh, there is that, although it's very very redundant and no one really checks that out but I guess these three groups I'm just sort of affiliated with for fun now there's even more to the group of course so if you are the group owner you should see like various options we will go over here to configure group which is the first option and when you go over here this page looks pretty similar to when you first bought your Roblox group you can change the icon again you can change the description you can also transfer ownerships if you are the owner and this requires some type of verification process and if you are planning to switch group owners make sure to know who you're switching it to unless it's your alt account you can also change the name just like usernames on roblox but it will cost you 100 robux instead of 1000 there's a couple things you gotta agree on so you click on that check mark put in your group name the robux that you'll be using to pay for this name change are going to be used with your roblox accounts balance not the group funds the next page over here is settings, or also you can check out your group name and it's also group funds. Now settings, you can enable manual approval or just let anyone join. You can have group funds, which is the Roblox that's pending into the group, like if anyone buys your clothing or game passes or whatever that's affiliated with the Roblox group, then it will go into group funds, which is again right here. You can display them publicly or not, I don't see the point of putting them publicly. If you have any affiliated Roblox games for your Roblox group and you want to put them to the public, then you can just put that setting on. Again, a very redundant feature. If you want to have groups like declaring enemy attacks or whatever, then enable that, but I just don't see the point. Here is where you can manage your social links to your Roblox group. So let's say your Discord server, Gilded, your Twitter account, your YouTube, maybe Twitch as well, I don't know. But yeah, you can add up to three social links. And I don't, I don't have much going on for social media at the time, so it's only just my YouTube and my dead Twitter account. Over here is Renaview, and if you hover your mouse, there's also further options. You got Summary, and what this is is basically, you know, how much Robux is pending, how many sales of goods you made, any payouts have been changed in the past couple of days or weeks. Sales is like anyone who has recently bought your stuff. Publishing advanced rebates, uh, I don't know entirely what that is, so I'm just going to ignore that. And there's payouts where you can basically distribute certain amount of Robux, the group funds, to a specific user in the group. Note that they must be in the group for at least 14 days. I know that's a long, screw shooting time period, but it is what Roblox has, and I guess they just added it to make sure, like, you know, no compromised accounts are just stealing Robux on the get-go. But here are two ways to distribute Robux to specific people. If you want to have a reoccurring payout, which means if you want to have, let's say, person A being paid three times a week for uh, 750 Robux, for example, then you can do that. Or if you want to do a one-time direct payout, which means if you want person B to have like a thousand Robux right there on the get-go, um, then you can just do that as well. You also do percentage or amount, but I mean, I just do amount because it's much more easier. To add a recipient, there'll be a, a button right here to add whatever usernames in the Roblox group. And after that, you press OK and it'll be distributed. Down here is the members group, which displays everyone who is in your Roblox group. You can filter those, like whatever roles you have left. So if I want to like moderate specific people who are in the friends group or in the members, then you just kind of adjust here and so. And if you have further uh, options in your Roblox group, you should have the option to like ban this user, for example. That's what exile means. 
You can also search a specific user with their username. Now over here is the request tab, which basically if you have menu approval on, meaning like if someone tries to join the group, they must send a request and whoever's authority in a Roblox group to view that, they can decline it or accept it. And uh, you'll see those right here in this page. Over here is roles, we can customize them. Uh, creating a role requires you 25 Robux, and again, this Robux will be used from your account's balance and not the group funds. Uh, so when you create a role, you, you can implement a name, what this role is about, and the hierarchy of the role count. Oh, you can also use the group funds to purchase this role as you wish, but I'm not going to be doing that because I got enough roles. So here it is, the name, the description, the ranks. So basically, if you want to have the highest roll for yourself, you want to put it as 255. So it's kind of weird. So it's not like rank 1 where it's like, oh, it's the highest. No, it's not. So for example, the members here, I put it to as 1, and so Roblox puts it at the bottom. And I guess you can have a maximum of 255 rolls. I have never seen a Roblox group with that many rolls, so... uh that is pretty wild. But yeah, here are all the permissions that you can just configure for specific roles. When you're a group owner, you pretty much have control of everything, which is why I'm my alt. Here we have affiliates. This is, again, a very redundant feature. So we got allies, like who you're collaborating with certain Roblox groups. If you want to detach one of them, just put remove. And also requests, which is are just... I don't know who are these guys, but uh, yeah, they want to send ally requests to me for some reason. I'm just going to leave it at that. And here's enemies. Uh, if anyone has declared an enemy declaration on you, but I have that setting off so no one can really just do that to me. Now, auto log is basically where displays changes to your group, like if you have exiled someone or if someone has distributed a certain amount of Robux or someone has created and published this and that or any general group changes will be displayed in the audit log right here. And uh, there's this new thing called Gilded, which you can basically link your Gilded community server if you have one, or you can just create one from the get-go via here. Since Roblox and Gilded are heavily affiliated with each other, this is why it's had its own little feature here. Unfortunately, Gilded is very underrated compared to Discord, and to be honest, I slightly, just slightly prefer Gilded over Discord mainly because it offers so many customizable features and useful stuff for those who are not spending any subscription service. But yeah, if you have a gilded server that's popular, if you want to link that to your Roblox group, you can set that up via here. Now, there's also primary uh, that you can have. So basically, if you want a Roblox group that you want to represent as like, oh, this group I really love, I talk in it the most, you can highlight that. And whenever someone searches your profile up, here's an example, let's search up me. We go look for my profile on right here it shows people's community which means this is my primary group associated with this account there's also leave the group which you can leave you can help advertise it if you have permission to do that and there's an option to report specific groups if they're breaking into us don't abuse this you will get banned anyway so that's the cover for everything pretty much in roblox groups uh if you want to see more tutorials like these make sure to subscribe and as always Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and peace.